Sleeping shenanigan. Bobby Valentine said he doesn't get in enough sleep. Right Joking around Pete Bayerga. Harnish. Raul Mondesi, Mondesi can't, can't get, get to the Carlos Baerga drive. Bush Husky second. brought him in with a double. Yes, it was wet in, in the Bayerga. outfield of New York. And Mondesi send that to the cleaners. Top six, Joe hole, Crawford Ardonia facing Eric Young. Ray Ordonez, he gets to so many of those that those great plays become routine, but I mean, this is unbelievable. A flair for the dramatic, the great play, and the terrific arm, which sometimes doesn't get mentioned as often as it should. Bottom six, Tom Candiotti facing Bayerga, straight away to center, number eight by the ugly apple for Bayerga. Mets up three nothing. Top eight, two on, two out, game in doubt. Greg McMichael pitching, Ordonez the great scoop to end it. Good hold by McMichael, who did pitch today because it is a day that ends in Y. Pitches like every day, doesn't he? Right now, Todd Hunley hurt after fouling a ball off his toe. Bobby Valentine, the trainer, is starting to come out. Is he okay? Uh, they decide to leave him in. Well, he's facing Chanho Park, the same at bat. Of course, Murphy's Law. Hurt your foot, leg out a triple. Look at Hunley, gutsy. He's the leader of this Mets team. When we talked about the Valentine controversy that the New York tabloids made a big deal out of. Now, Hunley gets a response from his teammates in the crowd. He scored later. Now, it's 2-1 Dodgers. We pick it up top three, second and third. Todd Zeal, the base hit, gets past Brian McRae. So, two-run score. It becomes a 4-1 Dodger lead. Zeal knocked in three in the second game. Bottom four, 4-2 four, Dodgers, first and second. Rick Reed at the plate. Mets pitchers helping themselves this week. The single scores Bernard Gilkey. Now, it's 4-3. Bottom eight, still 4-3. Ray Ordonez, pinch hit for by Matt Franco with first and third. The spin a double play and the Dodgers hold on to win four to three Chan Ho Park backed by a very strong Korean contingent at first gone 34th on the year this one off Roger Bailey one nothing Astros and he he got shot top of the second no Nepi Perez at the plate Bagwell bobbles it Chris Holt covering first they teach it in spring training it pays off here top four bases loaded six nothing Astros Holt trying to pitch out of the jam Kurt Manwaring's liner off Holt's glove. This time, Holt and Bagwell do not communicate. Walker scores 6-1 Astros. Larry Durker is not pleased. But Holt and the Astros proved to be too much. Bottom of the fourth, one on for Holt. Goes the other way. Brad Osmus trying to score from second. Oh, don't run on Larry Walker, Brad. And he lived to tell about it. <laughs> and there's Rafael Palmero. Four for four on Wednesday. Top of the first two on two outs. Off Kevin Apier, Aaron Ledesma, and Geronimo Bro score 2 0 Orioles. Between innings, Apier is not pleased, and you will see why. Flipping a catcher's mask and hits third base coach Rich Dower in the face. Dower ends up with a shiner. Top of the second, Chris Hoyles going to test out Dean Palmer. Palmer answers with a glove and then with the arm. A tremendous play. Bottom eight, 4 2 O's. Armando Benitez walked the bases loaded. He was pulled. After a sack fly made it 4-3. So Terry Matthews facing Jermaine Dye. One two pitch. Round ball to, to Cal gets the force. The Orioles hold on to get the win. Cal went two for four Terry with an RBI Matthews. batting two. Moya facing David Justice and strikes him out. Tony Fernandez gets caught in the one down at third. This is why they had spring training. He's out and the Mariners get out of the inning. Top of the fifth, Mariners up 2-1. Jamie Moyer is wild. Tony Fernandez would score on that. No problem there. We're tied at two. Bottom five, bases loaded for Edgar Martinez. And Martinez looking for space the opposite way and finds it. It's a double, and Joey Cora and renewed Mariner Roberto Kelly would score. Mariners were up 4-2, to two. bottom eight. Mariners up 5-4, two men on. There's Kelly. Mike Jackson gets him. Gets by Pat Borders, so the bases are loaded. Next batter, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh-oh. Pat Borders misses it. Pass ball. Rich Amaral scores 6 4 Seattle. Next pitch. Ossenmacher. Wild. Joey Cora would score 7 4 Mariners. And they would find a way to win and hang up. Brought his 279 average to the park and he brought his game to the park. Facing Pettit, bottom one. Phillips representing the double down the right field line in his first at bat. He would later score on a Darren Erstad single, one zip Angels. Yanks leading 2 1. Pettit pitching well, facing Chad Cruder with a tie run on second. Pettit, Case, Cruder to end the seventh. Yankees still up 2 1. Bottom nine, same score. Phillips facing Yankee closer Mariano Rivera. 
Tony. Little blooper in the left field. Derek Jeter, rookie of the year, can't get it. Falls for a single. Next hitter, Darren Erstad. Yep, yep. Singles to right. Phillips beats Paul O'Neill's throw. No outs. Runners on the corners. After Tim Salmon strikes out, Dave Hollins gets his shot to tie it. Hollins, soft grounder to Ray Sanchez. He can't handle it. Infield single. Phillips scores. We're tied at two. Top 11, Tino Martinez facing Daryl May. Two outs. Martinez, GP, are you with me? To right field for the 3-2 lead. 40th homer of the year. First Yankee with 40 homers since Reggie Jackson in 1980. Bottom 11 with Dave Hollins on second. Mike Stanton facing Chris Turner. Two outs. In his first at bat of the year, Chris Turner rips it off the center field wall to tie the game at three. He gets a double. All locked up. Joe Torre just trying to figure out how oh, in the heck are we going to end. Next batter, Craig Grayback. In the hole, in the left field. To shallow left. Chad Curtis comes in with the perfect throw to the plate. Turner had no shot. Still tied at three, end of 11. Top 12, runners at the corners for Derek Jeter. Facing Pep Harris with two out. DJ Grounder, right where he usually is. But Gary DeSarcina cannot make the play. Joe Girardi comes in for the winning run. Yankees win up 4-3. They would win it. Heck of the third, tied at two. Jermaine Allensworth at second after a double. Al Martin, the chopper, fielded by Kilby Vera, slides in. Allensworth scores 3-2 Pirates. Now 3-3, three, three, top of the fourth, two on for Steve Finley, who had already homered in this game. He triples, brings in Hernandez and Veras, 5-3 pods. Top five, it's now 6-4 Padres. Greg Vaughn at the plate. There's Greg. He's at the plate. And he waits on the breaking ball, and he knows it's gone. Three for four, two RBIs, two runs scored, 7-4 pods. Pirates bullpen, goofing off. Padres goofing off yeah, and your coaches are going to see this ken caminetti home run off clint sadowski the change up caminetti's 17th on the year nine four pods caminetti three for five an rbi for mcguire he's on second in the fourth ron gant a rope to center off of mike johnson young scores one nothing cards north of the border bottom five same score two out two on mike lansing off of Donovan Osborne, fair ball down the left field line. Chris Widger and Mike Johnson score on the Spos take a two, one lead. Top nine, cards down 3-1. McGuire pinch hitting, man on second against Ugin Urbina. Hot shot that David Segui can't handle. Willie McGee scores, it's an error. The cards within one, but Urbina, two batters later with one on, gets Gary Gaetti to end the game. Save 20 for Urbina. Change up coming. Rip to right center. Right center field. Shannon Stewart will. It's going to get in there. Mario Valdez scores. Lord Fabregas behind him. That's now 15 game hitting streak for Martinez. 4 0 Chicago. It's 4 1. Bottom six. Ozzy Guillen up the middle. Thomas Perez. Great twirling play to get him. So the Jays hanging in there with some D. Henkin still in the bottom of the eighth. Ozzy a bloop to left center. It's going to get in there. Robin Ventura and Valdez score. And the White Sox go on to win six to three. It's three straight for Chicago. Thomas's average up to 347 leads to the Avery tough out. Down 6-1 in the third. Jason Giambi. Third homer given up by Avery in the game. It is now 7-1. Harry Lacey comes in for relief. There was none. Ernie Young. Two-run homer. His fourth. 9-1 A's. Next batter, Jason McDonald. What do you think? How about another home run? Third home run in the inning. Two hitters later, Jose Canseco. Without McGuire, the bash was going for the A's today. They hit four home runs in one inning. Tied a team record, set a team record, actually, and equal the major league record. Just the 40th time in big league history that it's... Top four still tied at one, two outs, bases loaded. On the mound for the Brewers is Cal Eldred. Facing the Tigers, Davey Cruz, and Cruz can't find it. Three outs. Moving on to the top of the seventh, still tied at one, two outs, bases loaded. Travis Fryman's turn at bat. Mike Fetters on the mound, and Fryman hits it deep. But would it be deep enough? I don't think so. Dave Nielsen eyes it and then grabs it. Three out, another chance wasted. Top eight now tied at one, still one out, bases loaded again. Raul Casanova. 
Hits into the double play. Jose Valentin to Julio Franco. Three out, and the Tigers strand three for the third time of the game. Top 12 still tied Bob Higginson. Tony Clark at bat. The high chopper, Fernando Vina gets him, but Higginson, who was on third, scores two on Detroit. Same score in the bottom of the 12th. Jeff Cirillo waiting. Todd Jones delivery, and Silverillo the opposite way. Damian easily makes it look so easy, and the Tigers hang on to win it. And they get away with stranding 12 runners in the